being out on the floor again after a month and some change was an incredible feeling for me to be out there. Uh, the guys welcomed me with open arms, you know, showed me the ropes and, you know, what it's like to be a part of Lakers basketball. Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow's game. Uh, that's, that's really it. I'm hyped. Andre, so did, does that indicate that you're planning on playing or that's the plan for you and the franchise? I am playing. You are? You're, okay. That's, that's even more simple. Uh, I, <laughs> what, what did you guys work on the most? And, and what, are the, what are the things that Frank Vogel is trying to emphasize for you um, as, uh, as you start tomorrow night's game? Today uh, was mainly just plays, getting up and down a little bit, you know, getting my wind going, making sure I'm feeling 100%, and I do. So uh, today was just a learning day. All right, let's go to Kyle Gooden. Hey, Andre. I'm just wondering, what, how helpful is it to have, um, you know, KCP and Marquise guys you played with before in a practice setting to help you kind of speed up and, and get adjusted into the, the team? Yeah, KCP and Marquise have made this transition very easy for me. Uh, from the moment I got here, they, you know, just showed me everything I needed to know. Uh, I got all the film that I needed to get to, you know, learn their their schemes offensively and defensively. Uh, being on the same court as them, again, it was uh, an incredible feeling. You know, Pope having played with him in a couple couple years and Marquise playing with him last year. So the chemistry was already there. So, Andre, I got two for you. Uh, yeah. One on the onboarding process. Has there been, I saw you posted a photo with Bill Handy. I don't know if, if he's been instrumental in, in the short time you went to the Lakers, but uh, is there any coaches specifically that are getting your ear about the terminology or what you're going to need to do? I mean, all the coaches have taken their, their time to really show me different things. I mean, it's just, it's just been a great experience so far. You know, overall, I'm learning so much in such a little time. And uh, having to play tomorrow, I think I'm very well prepared and looking forward to the experience. And secondly, Jeannie shared a photo of her father, Dr. Jerry Buss, with Kareem, uh, juxtaposed with her meeting you. And somehow we talked to you yesterday and didn't ask the uh, obvious Laker big man lineage question, but... <laughs> Uh, what does it mean to you to join the ranks of Shaq and Kareem and Will, uh, et cetera, et cetera? Man, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor to be, you know, in this facility, be able to, you know, step onto that court where these legends have played and built, you know, such an incredible legacy here in L.A. So, you know, it's a lot of, lot of excitement for me to be here. Over to Dan. Hey, Andre. Uh, sorry about that. Um, how, like, how familiar are you with what the Lakers are trying to do, in, just in terms of being a vet in this league? And I guess, secondly, um, you know, you've had some firsts in your career: first NBA game, first playoff game, etc. Like, how does this sort of level of excitement after the layoff you've had kind of compare to those those other sort of firsts? I think the level of excitement for me is at an all-time high. Uh, you know, being off for a month in a couple of days is uh, it's crazy for basketball, especially for me, you know, never being in this situation and having the opportunity to play again. I'm blessed and honored and excited to take this opportunity and make the most of it. All right, I believe we have a follow-up from Kyle Goon. <clears throat> and I was just wondering, in terms of kind of getting everything back, getting up to speed to a game level since you, you've been off such a long time, what are sort of the, the final details or, or final maybe conditioning aspects that really just come with playing five on five, either in practice or in a game? You know, Kyle, I had a chance to play today and I felt incredible. I wasn't winded. Uh, I did a great job during this time of really taking care of my body and working on my conditioning, knowing that I had a chance to come back and play again soon. So I made sure that I was in great shape when the opportunity came. Andy Kimenezzi. <clears throat> Excuse me, Andre. Uh, over the last few years, your assist numbers have gone up uh, to a pretty good number for, for that position. How much comfort level is required before you start feeling able to, to make plays for teammates you haven't uh, been with as long? Well, lucky for me, I have two guys that I've played with already on this team. 
So I'm sure they've made it well known that I'm a passer. I enjoy passing the ball. I enjoy making that extra play for my teammates. And uh, it showed today in practice, you know, I was very unselfish in practice, getting the ball to guys in their spots and uh, just having fun out there.